Our region's business is sponsored by PNC for the achiever in you. Our region's business, improving our economy, creating jobs, and strengthening communities. Innovation, collaboration, transformation, and the people making it happen. Join us as we take a closer look at our region's business. Now, here's your host, Bill Flanagan. Today on our region's business, the big impact immigrants are having on our regional economy and Pittsburgh's outpouring of support for Puerto Rico. But first, one of our region's oldest energy companies has split itself into two publicly traded corporations. On pretty much the last business day of November, Consol Energy spun off its remaining coal interests into a new company called Consol Energy. It's now a natural gas company, and it's got a new name, CNX. So why is this happening, and especially why now? Well, Timothy Dugan is Chief Operating Officer of CNX, the natural gas company. Welcome, good to have you here. Thanks for having me, Bill. Yeah, uh, so a lot of, lot of big events over the last few days, right? The stocks now, tra both stocks, both companies trading on, on the New York Stock Exchange, and uh, a new day for both companies, I guess. Huh? Both, both companies trading separately. Uh, it's really been a long time in the making. This is, uh, you know, what is two separate healthy companies right now, both a coal company and an EMP company in the new Consol and CNX resources. Uh, this is really the culmination of uh, over a decade of work to uh, you know, bring this separation about. Uh, it's really, uh, our goal was to uh, really transform once again a 154 year old company uh, that, that, that owned the best coal assets and the best oil and gas assets in the world. And we've come out with two healthy companies that uh, really now have a singular focus and are dedicated to their respective industries and really hold leading positions in both those industries. So this is less of a response to sort of current market conditions? This is something you all have been thinking about and working toward for some period of time? It is. It's when you look at the Consol Energy as it was, the combined company, uh, the complexity of having both oil and gas and coal made it difficult to realize the the full value of both entities. So in separating, we have been able to reduce the complexity, eliminate some risk, lower our cost structure, but yet increase the competitiveness of both entities, the uh, CNX Resources, uh, which is now the EMP company, and Consol, which is now the new coal company. We've been able to increase the competitiveness of both entities in their respective markets. So you, you have access to capital, just ability to compete in the global market for both companies. I mean, what are really the benefits of this kind of, uh, of a split when you, look, when you look to the future? Well, when you look at uh, CNX resources, uh, most people probably don't know this, but we really are the modern day descendants of John Rockefeller's uh, Standard Oil Company from decades ago. Uh, he consolidated oil and gas assets in Appalachia which is now what uh, CNX Resources is. So we've been able to reestablish the, uh, I guess, the natural gas estate of Standard Oil Company, mm. and we view ourselves as a 150-year-old startup company. Well, it goes back so to the very birth of it all, it, right? It, I mean, it does. 160 mm -hmm. years ago or whatever, but really kind of reinventing it now and with mm -hmm. a whole new opportunity that John right. D. Rockefeller himself could never really have imagined. Right, when you look at uh, what's been done already in the Marcellus Shale, and what we are now doing in the Utica Shale, uh, we're at the forefront of stacked pay opportunities, taking advantage of both the Marcellus and the Utica, and we really are a first mover on the stacked pay opportunities that uh, are present here in this region. You know, we had uh, Morgan O'Brien and Stacey Olson from Chevron down here a few weeks ago talking about yeah. this Forge the Future report. They, they feel we really have only begun to unlock the potential of the resource in the Marcellus. I Shale. think the, uh, that's true. The Marcellus and the Utica are still in the infancy stage of development. And now with the Shell Cracker plant, which is gonna be just the plant itself, is a $6 billion investment in the region. But what that plant will do, the downstream opportunities that it's going to bring, uh, when you look at just Pennsylvania, uh, from a GDP standpoint, a $60 billion potential increase in GDP. 
over 100,000 jobs will be created, not just at the plant, but all of the support industries. The oil and gas industry is going to be feeding that plant, so the oil and gas industry is going to grow. And uh, when you look at gas demand, natural gas demand in this region, right now it's about 5 TCF a year. It's expected to grow to almost 10 TCF a year in the next seven to eight years. Mm -hmm. So the, uh, the Forge the Future report really lays out a lot of those opportunities and spells out some of the benefits that we'll see from it. I, I get the gas part. You think on the coal side, they have a bright future to look forward to as well? Coal does. Uh, a lot of people think coal is uh, kind of dying and done, but uh, you know, coal is still responsible, responsible for generating uh, at least half of our uh, power generation, our electricity in this country. Uh, the new Consol uh, coal company owns and operates the highest quality uh, thermal coal mine uh, in the world. Uh, that coal is used for power generation. It can also be blended and used as metallurgical coal. So uh, the opportunities for coal are, uh, are still uh, very healthy and I think uh, Consol is set up to really dominate that business segment or industry for years to come. Well, let's bring it back to a little bit of the fine detail here. So you're a shareholder, you were a shareholder in the or old Consol Energy, so so what do you own now? How did that shake out for a shareholder as well, of this week? The separation officially took place on November 28th, so uh, trading started on November 29th, uh, but on November 28th, uh, Consol shareholders <clears throat> were given uh, a share of the new Consol Coal Company, the Spinco. Mm -hmm. uh, so the new coal company, every uh, Consol shareholder was given a share of Consol Coal, one share for every eight shares of Consol Energy that they owned at the close of business on November 15th. Okay, so that's what for the shareholders. My final question is what happens down there at South Point in Washington County at headquarters? Uh, South Point remains vibrant and healthy. For both companies? They're both still there? Okay. CNX, CNX Resources, the oil and gas company, will maintain the lease of our South Point headquarters okay. and Consol, the coal company, will be a tenant. So we'll both remain in the headquarter building and uh, we'll both uh, We'll both be there, but completely separated, uh, physically separated uh, as two separate companies. All right, fascinating stuff. What a, what a transition for one yep. of our region's oldest industrial Exciting companies. Times. It really is. Uh, Tim Dugan from CNX, yes. the natural gas company. CNX Resources. All right, yeah. thanks so much. Good Thank to see you. you. Yeah, appreciate it. <laughs> Next up, immigration may be the big reason our region's population has stabilized after decades of decline. We'll find out what it means to our future as well when our region's business returns. Stay with us.